boom. Nothing like a crack to get you back. <laughs> uh, so, welcome back. Here we are. Back on the crack. Brad Keselowski's here, <laughs> as per usual. <laughs> Two for your crew. If you want to hit us up on the Twitters, you can hit us up at, at the FF Dynasty, double added. Uh, Big Co's at Dynasty Bidco, but I don't know if you want to hit him up or not. I don't even know if you can hit Big Co up. <laughs> he might just have everyone blocked. I think I got a total block <laughs> going on. Roads closed. You can find Jay Wayne at Jay Wayne's World. I'm at IMC Myers. Let's get back into uh, some buy sell hold. I guess we can call it for lack of a better term. Sure. More of evaluations and seeing where we're at on guys. Well, let's go with Tariq Cohen. We've Tariq. We've uh, alluded that we we wanted to get to some Cohen, the old human joystick here. Certainly that. We'll start off again with Jay Wayne. I think everybody is mostly in agreement here. I mean, first round pick for Cohen. That's not going to do it, is it? I don't I don't think so. I'd give that up all day. I don't think that's going to get it done. It depends on what first. I sure. think again as you talked about it in the last one with Aaron Jones and we be a common thread on what we talk about because we like to keep it fresh and funky and realistic. Um is there a number where you would stop with Cohen? Like 15 Oh, yeah. I mean, I, we joke about this all the time when people say, I got the 1-5 next year. It's like, how do you how know? Do you know? Well, how obviously, you know we're that? speculating. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, well, we had a potential trade and uh, throw it out there today about maybe trying to send a, our first round in one league to for Tyler Boyd. And we're not exactly in or out of the playoffs yet. And if you don't make the playoffs, you can play for your first round for the number 1-1. One, one. And it, just in that type of situation, if I didn't know... That I if I had a chance at the one one, I don't want to give that away for non said superstar. But Tariq Cohen, you're st- we've said it all off season that you'd be chasing that Tariq Tyreek Hill spot in Matt Nagy's offense. And although it was a slow start, Tariq Cohen's looking pretty pretty good in this offense. Right, it's opened up. Uh, Trubisky, while maybe not one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Fantasy points don't really care what your you know quality target or not. If you're uh, yeah, they're a, if you're scoring fantasy points, a fickle mistress. Those fantasy points, right? Doesn't even matter. So you're definitely giving up low end one over here, Big Co. I mean, I said I I wouldn't give up the one for Aaron Jones because of the system, and I didn't know if he had anything to catch on to and run with. But you look at the targets that my man's getting, and obviously last week they were beating up the Jets. They pretty much it was they handled them pretty good. They didn't blow them out, but for that score, it was a lot worse. It was the, essentially a blowout. They it, were twenty four to ten out it, yes. early and often. Exactly. They were they were they were they had it handled and they knew it. But we you got no a Rob. You're for three you're just weeks trying to get out of here with the win. You got up early. Three weeks in a row before clearly the better team. Hey, he obviously sorry. Tariq Cohen obviously had to set this. Clearly the better team. Clearly. Uh, one for one catch, three targets, 70 yards, touchdown. Speaks for itself. But in the three weeks prior, eight targets, nine targets, 13 targets. And these, while not behind the line, the scrimmage type targets, still completing at a very high rate. Seven out of the eight targets for a buck 21 and a touch. Seven for 90, eight for 60 and a touch. A lot touch. of them are pretty close to the line like, scrimmage. Fair enough, but this thing, you know, he... This is a this offense has got moving parts in all different directions. Mm-hmm. It's only seven games old now with a bye week. We're through week eight, but the Bears already had a bye. Seven games old of Nagy trying to get things working over here with a quarterback who we've said many, many times is limited experience. Played second half of the year last year, only one real season to speak of in college, just getting started. And with the type of passing game work. This is like I said, I'd give up the two for Jalen Richard. This is Jalen Richard on steroids, and like you said, Jalen Richard basically has no future. Well, and then that's uh, not yeah, necessarily no, not a shot at him, but you know what? I knew right. what you were meaning, and point well taken, and you 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 really said it right because Aaron Jones could, if he finds something to grab onto and runs with it, which I don't know if it's there, but if he does, like Jay Wayne said, if he can grab onto whatever there is and just take it and go with it, he has a future much higher than Jalen Richard. And I think Tariq Cohen does too. It just so happens in the meantime, the PPR points speak for themselves. So I would not hesitate to give you that 
first round pick for Tariq Cohen. If I'm 0-8 and the worst team in the league gets the first pick, I'm not giving you the 1-1 for Tariq Cohen. But so I don't know if I have a specific answer. If I have, if I'm 0 and 8, 1 and 7, 2 and 6, and I'm battling somebody for that 1 1 or 1 2, I'm going to hang on to my draft pick. But if I'm 4 and 4 and Tariq Cohen can fill a void for me and I might make the playoffs, I'll, I'll, I'll take the gamble. I'll go with Tariq Cohen. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd give up my first. I don't think it would really matter. I, I, I don't want to say that I'd give up the 1 1 to get him, but there isn't a a 1-1 one, one right now that's like, oh my gosh, I can get Saquon Barkley There is Saquon no transcendent next year. player who has been like suck for Saquon or, you know, right. there's no Ezekiel Elliott. There's no like, <laughs> there's no... Suck for Saquon. There's no guy who's for sure the franchise changer for your fantasy team like those guys have been and were that first right. year. Like you want David Montgomery or Tariq Cohen, you know? That's basically... I, mean, I, I want... Me personally, I mean, I know there's a lot of I don't I haven't even watched all the right. David Montgomery. I, I haven't even slightly begun the evaluations. But if that ends up being the one one, I would much rather have David Montgomery than Tyree Kill. It's not even Tariq close. Cohen. Tariq Cohen. Sorry, it's not even close for me because I think that that's a bell cow player. Uh, and I don't have to rely on maybe getting these targets. And then the, you get these five runs. And if you don't if you only get three or four targets and you only get six or seven runs and that doesn't equate to anything, then, you know, bummer of a day. But I think Montgomery could be David Montgomery uh, could be a guy who's awesome. And maybe he's not ended up being the one one. But as of right now, in my mind, that's who I've painted as being the one one. And Tariq Cohen on 29 other offenses in this NFL doesn't get my first round pick. And that's exactly what that's that's exactly right. Aaron Jones is in a situation where I don't want my first round pick to go to right now without be without it being a suck for Saquon kind of guy. And wouldn't my Nagy, Tariq Hill, Tariq Cohen can get my first round pick because it's Nagy, it's one of those it's a Andy Reid type offense. But if Tariq Cohen was on most other offenses in the NFL, it's going to be a couple of catches, a couple of runs, and maybe a good play or not. Your day's probably, you know, more bummers than right. not bummers. Maybe Tyreek Kill isn't Tyreek Kill not in an Andy Reid schemed offense. Right. Been plenty of fast receivers before Tyreek Hill. But he isn't in a different offense. He's in exactly. Matt Nagy's offense. Good point. And, I mean, looking at the usage, though, it had, like, yeah, the PPR targets prior to last game were pretty solid. There's a pretty solid floor, although weeks one through three. It was three targets, one, three targets. Um, the, the carries have never really been over six. One week he had 13. That was kind of an outlier. Uh, but that being said, I get it. I get it. Maybe you don't give that top, top, top end first round and pick. if you were just simply watching football and watching Bears games, and uh, we've been a big Jordan Howard advocate, um, and what this offense is doing, there is no question about it that this offense functions more smoothly with the Cohen playing the role that the Cohen plays. Sure. Um, but then, the in the but in the second half, when they were ready for the Jordan sure. Howard role, and if you just want to go back and watch that, it's not to say this team can't win with Jordan Howard, just being Jordan. That's Howard not what and, they want do, to do, but that's not what they're doing. And this offense looks great with Cohen out there doing what he does. And the when he does uh, giving it. him enough hand handoffs to keep him honest, honest. Him somewhat. Exactly. But what's awesome about this guy and why I want him and why I want him in my lineup is because he's just he's just a he's a spark plug. He can sure. he could win your day because he can go off and he could go off multiple times and he could score long touchdowns and he's that that's why I always like to rekill. He, before he had that solid five for fifty floor that he kinda has right now. Right. Because they're scheming him short and scheming him all over the place. He didn't have that off the rip, but he was so intriguing because of just his game breaking right. ability. And you and gotta now, have guys like that right. in your lineup, in my opinion. And now they've surrounded the Chiefs with a ton of talent around Tariq right. Hill, so it's really hard to do. And the Bears are at a similar place right now, albeit with not the quite the high end talent that even quarterback and just the rest of the supporting cast is not the what the Chiefs have, but they still do have a nice cast of characters sure they right. do. who all could be very, very good. Uh, moving down the line, so Tyreek Hill is or Tyree Cohen is very hard to kind of be like, oh, we're just going to game plan for this guy. And here's another thing too: like the Chiefs were put together before last year, 
they just blew up last year and then this year went out with a, a next level quarterback, maybe two more levels quarterback. They blew up again. Like just like the first year w- with the Falcons, they weren't, you know, with uh, Shanahan and the Falcons, they did start out five and zero, and things unraveled. There were some ups and downs and there was some splashes. And then the second year of the system, they blew up. Look at the Rams. The Rams were great last year, but now they're superior this year. You know, mm-hmm. like this is the first year, first seven games. And, and the there's new, multiple there, factors to that, but I understand what you're you saying. You see what I'm like there. Yeah. But that's what, yeah, there's multiple factors, obviously, but we're like, yes, the, this cast of characters next year could be the same characters and we're talking about them in a lot more respect. Yeah, Anthony Miller gets a year older. Allen Robinson, I think, is a very good player. Trey Burton, I think, is an awesome tight end. And a couple of good running backs and a, co- a young Anthony quarterback and, a, and, yeah. and, and, and and another year in the system and you work things out. You know, like, yes, the first three weeks of the season, they were trying to pigeonhole Jordan Howard into this space back, which he caught some balls and take nothing away from Jordan Howard. But And then you see... Tariq Cohen get out here and it stretch everybody's more open when Cohen's right. on the field because you have to respect his speed and his threat and then Taylor Gabriel's fast as hell and Allen Robinson's a r- superior talent wide receiver and you know like there's and you got and now you got Trey Burton running all over the place too like there's it the defense I don't think it's a it was it was the Bucks a couple weeks ago and then. Now and then it was a Dolphins team that might not have been as good as we thought they were, and then they put up 31 on New England, and then they just handled the Jets. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we respected the Bears the first couple weeks of the season because of the defense, and the defense was scoring all those points, and they did what they did against the Packers, and they barely lost, but they should have won, woulda, coulda, shoulda, blah blah blah. And then you know, obviously they blow up against the Bucks, but yeah, everybody blows up against the Bucks. And then they lost to the Dolphins, but they the offensively they did what they had to do. Yeah, you know, it's just they it's should just, not have lost that game. That right, was just right. Fate. They, they got up on Miami. Them. They they just it's just one of those things. Yeah, Miami got them fate. early, and then they probably went out of gas wearing black jerseys in Miami, and in the in the summertime heat, it was still in October around here in the southeast. And ran out of gas and got beaten overtime, but then took gave they were up against New England. Yeah, gave New England all they could handle, and then they go and handle the Jets. Like this is an up and coming team, and it's for yeah, it's you know Trubisky makes some really bad plays, but the schemes carry him through, which is what we right. were talking about in the offseason. Like Trubisky could be a bad quarterback and still score fantasy points because of everything going on with the offense, and that's exactly what's happened. Not and I didn't even put together with his Russian. I, yeah. I, I didn't know that was really going to happen like that. Nobody did. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm into. I'm with you guys. I'm okay with with selling uh, any anywhere to the first uh, mid mid first kind of late first for Cohen all day. I'm not sure if that's going to get it done. You might have to add a little bit of something in order to prime off somebody's team. Slightly concerned just about. The way he not not the way he gets used, but his usage and, mm-hmm. and and it just seems like it would be easy to kind of for him to get lost in some stuff and not be maybe worth what you're kind of paying for him or having to pay for him right now. Um, but at the same time, it's just kind of like having Aaron Rodgers and having Aaron Rodgers. It's the scheme and the scheme with Tariq Cohen for me. Like I love the scheme and I love what he's doing. And then again, like this, it could just get spread out a lot and not really feature Tariq Cohen that week. And maybe it's Jordan Howard for three weeks in a row of pounding. And you're like, well, what the hell did I just pay for? And I don't want to come on here and be like, oh, you know, you some, you listen to those shows and you're like, oh, I'd give a third for that guy. Oh, I'd give a third for that guy. Oh, I give, and I don't want to come on here and just be like, oh, we're just giving first for everyone. I mean, but like, basically is, I'd give a first for any of these running backs. Like, I mean, just right. give me a goddamn running back. Please, just, let me I, get a running back. I just didn't <laughs> want it to be, come on here and be repetitive of these guys are, oh, they're just asking for first for everything. And what would you do? But that that's kind of, these are, again, the lower end of the, the running back pool of the higher kind of middle tiered to higher end the guys. mid-level bosses right, right. <laughs> mid-level bosses is the current theme <laughs> and i think cohen and, and a lot of these mid-level guys boss running back are, are are worth that and again I, the scheme makes me comfortable and uh with with Tariq cohen and then to, to to pile on top of that is the evaluation of the player and what he can do like you said like they, he was the human joystick coming into here out of north carolina a and t or mm-hmm. wherever he came from and you just ridiculous uh, player and everyone wasn't quite sure like yeah he was really good but will he be able to replicate this in in, in the pro level and, and he has five six and like you said the scheme 
for me is maybe working against you a little bit, but it's mostly working in your favor. And this is the first couple of games with this scheme. So it should continue to grow and you should continue to see expanded roles with what Cohen's doing and how they're using him. And this is a smart guy who's going to be scheming him. He knows the mismatch with him. So yes, as part of me is uncomfortable with what he is and how, how he gets it done because it does seem like it could go away quickly, but I'm also pretty comfortable. Like I know that's completely contradictory of itself, but yeah, well like, yeah, four week last for first three weeks, seven points, three points, nine points in PPR, the last four weeks, 30, 25, 22, 18. It, it wasn't there, and uh, now it's there. And I don't know if I would give up much more than the low end first for Cohen. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to go overpay and, and think this is a guy that is Tyreek Hill necessarily. Um, Maybe not, but he's kind of like Tyreek Hill. He can put in the running back spot. So right. He it's certainly is. curves. I definitely wouldn't sell him for but he's, a low end one. He's not I'd like Tyreek Hill him. on the fact of I'm out there pretty much every single play. Yeah, but I don't know if that um, he probably could be. I'm, I'm not saying that he no in no way, shape, or form am I saying that he couldn't be. Yeah, I mean last year he's coming only into got the, a 46 percent snap share. Last year coming into the season, uh, my boy Sigmund Bloom said he had sources. Sources said them boys in Chicago said Tariq Cohen was not small; he was just short, and I. After first week of the season last year, the old we said this before, but he blew up, and then uh, David Johnson got hurt. Matt Kelly said you're doing it wrong if you didn't take Kerwin Williams and instead of picking up. I put 95 percent of my fab budget on Tariq Cohen in the dynasty league, mm-hmm. and wasn't upset about it. No, and obviously last year was da- wasn't Matt Nagy's time, and the usage up and down. You didn't yep. want, you weren't I happy just, with Tariq Cohen last year's usage. But, but, this but year, there was points in times last year where you were excited about the. I, w- I just watched four uh, Tariq Cohen games last year before we even came out here and talked about this to make sure that I was down with Tariq Cohen, that I was still in. And I was like, just with the John Fox system, he was still right. absolutely making cats look silly. Yeah. That's what I, I, I agree with Jay. I think he's, he obviously, I'm. I I love me some Tyreek Hill too, and I don't want to put anybody on his level, but he's really close to being that. He's what he's getting close to what we were hoping he could be in this system. Matt Nagy came out and said it in the offseason that Tariq Cohen could give him a Tyreek Hill player in this offense. And at the eight targets, the nine targets, the thirteen targets before this past week, of course, again we talked about them handling the Jets. He did your Deshaun Jackson move and only caught one ball, but got you mm-hmm. 18 PPR points because he was 70 in a sure. touch. So if anybody's getting eight, nine, and 13 targets in a row, three-game stretch at a running back position, he's obviously well on yep. the radar. And I don't think this is going it, – it can. there will be weeks where he doesn't get 12 targets. And there will be – and like this week, even if he would have got six or seven targets and maybe only got you 10 or 12 points, you're like, oh, well, I wish I wouldn't have gave my first-round pick for that. That's like I was talking about with Aaron Jones. But Aaron Jones isn't getting eight, nine, and thirteen targets. So I mean, this cat has potential to be a top to score in the top five running backs for, for any week on like twelve touches. Like, right. I got to get that guy which on my is, team. Is, which again is just basically why I was saying I'm contradicting myself of saying I like the scheme. The usage, and I don't like, but the usage, right? Because <laughs> the scheme, it, it but could the usage. Be, it could be so awesome, and then other weeks he could not be forgotten, but be kind of the. Hey, well, therein lies, ski- and that happens with any guy. That's not a first it, round startup pick. You exactly, know? that's the problem. But the first round startup picks are able to get over that. That's they're, why we're they're talking able about to be schemed for and beat the schemed for. I don't know if Cohen's that guy, but I think there's so many parts and pieces, much like the the Chiefs right now, that you can't scheme for all of it. So I agree, and but that's why we're talking about these mid level bosses today in the running back position, because if you don't have one of those really good running backs. And you didn't get lucky and draft James White until the end of your draft. Like, what are you even plugging in out there? But give me the talent of Cohen over James White all day long. Yeah, better player. Oh, much uh, as an athlete, they don't right. even they don't right. even stack up. That's what I'm saying. But as but system and head coach and what do you like? Those and, things go directly and now, together. And, obviously, there was nobody there this week, and James White gets does what he does. But as soon as Sony Michelle entered into the fold, James it, White was going. It was oh uh, well, we got a more talented player who does a lot more for our offense. Well, obviously, White with nobody around can still move them around and do what he does. But yeah, Sony he definitely Michelle, took a dip with Sony Michelle. Even when when Edelman came back and Michelle was in there at the same time, it wasn't quite just the James White show. Right. All right. Well, let's take a quick break. Gather our composure. We'll be back 
with a little Philip Lindsay for your pleasure. <laughs> 